The effects of the warming climate are being felt in every corner of our country and across the world. That's just one of the many realities released in the National Climate Assessment Report earlier this week. As the holiday travel kicks into high gear, which mm -hmm. we know it is today, uh, mm -hmm. some destinations are focusing on combating climate change. Here to talk about some of those spots is meteorologist and travel journalist Jennifer Broom, our good friend. Uh, you know, Jen, if you were a little farther north, you could do a tropical update for us uh, this morning in the Bahamas. Yeah. But let's talk about snorkeling with a purpose as you're coming up from us from Nassau. Yeah, guys, I am blaming that this is the Cantorian Abrams effect with all this rain that's <laughs> yeah, going nice. on. Thank um, you. Guys, yeah, welcome to the Rosewood Baja Mar here in Nassau, Bahamas. And they have this unique partnership with BREEF, which is Bahamas Reef Environment Educational Foundation. Oh, cool. And it is a chance to really go out and snorkel with a purpose. I went out this week and got to spend time with the executive director. And I have to tell you, it's such a cool thing because they take you to the world's largest underwater sculpture. I will say on it, I did still see some of the coral that was bleached out. So it's an educational snorking, snorkeling as you're going with brief in this excursion. And you really learn about different types of, of coral reefs, the importance of the coral reefs, how critical they are to the ecosystem protection from hurricanes and tropical systems. Um, but one thing that we did notice, of course, the summer heat wave was just devastating to coral reefs. I will tell you that we actually got some good news seeing some of that coral coming back. So it was really cool to be in that situation and be in that science type environment and learning from people that are out there every day assessing yeah. what's going on and monitoring. So it is that snorkeling for a purpose. And by the way, here at the Rosewood, they actually donate 100% of the proceeds of those excursions to Brief, which is B-R-E-E-F oh, wow. dot org if you want to check it out. You can adopt a piece of coral because nice. they are doing a nursery uh, to rebuild, to regrow coral. So you can do that online. And again, it's B-R-E-E-F dot org. It's like hiding the broccoli in the mashed potatoes, which a lot of parents <laughs> will be doing, especially over the next week. Let's talk the other end of the spectrum, sustainable skiing. So this is a really cool thing, guys. I'm going to take you up to Banff, Canada. Uh, we're going to, in particular, Sunshine, Sunshine oh. Village, where they are snow farming. That's right. I said snow farming. So under Goat's Eye Lift, they are actually putting up these snow fences, which if you live in an area that gets snow, you see those along highways, along the roads, in areas that are have a lot of exposure and also get the gusty winds and snow. So they farm that snow and put it into areas that get kind of scoured out from the wind, and it makes it safer for skiers and riders. So it's kind of an alternative to the traditional snowmaking that they're oh, doing. Yeah, and by the way, skiing and Camp is just epic. It is so stunningly beautiful. And I'll tell you, it's a little cheaper to ski up in Canada than in the U.S. So you might want to think about that one for your winter vacation. Listen to you going from NASA <laughs> to BAMP, just like that. Uh, hydrotherapy uh, hot right now in wellness travel. Where are some steamy spots in Colorado? Oh, I'm taking you into the southwest corner of Colorado and taking you to the deepest geothermal hot spring in the world. That is at the Springs Resort in Pagosa oh. Springs. The hydrotherapy, it is so huge in that wellness travel. There's so many benefits for it. There is so much scientific-based research that's still going on. While you're there, not only do you want to soak, but I would also advise you to take an aqua yoga class or a forest bathing hike. And not far from there, just an hour away, is Durango Hot Springs, where they are the only hot springs in the world to infuse the pools with oxygen. So it is an added benefit for you. So you've got two fantastic places to get you, get your soak on. That is really impressive and really fun. Uh, Broom, do you need an assistant? <laughs> yeah, guys, come on. Come on. Of course, you know, thanks for sending the tropical rain to me. I really appreciate it, but it is better in the Bahamas. <laughs> It'll be out of there in no time. Don't worry Jennifer about it. Jennifer Broom, meteorologist and travel journalist.